When unbelievable losses become completely believable. That is the story of the 2022 Minnesota Twins bullpen right now. Uh, the Twins, well, Tyler Thornburg uh, me- completely melted down. Uh, well, I mean, you could say the Twins, too, because this is a bad play. Uh, bad defensive play there. Um, and the Twins lost this game. They lost a series at Cleveland at 2-3. to three. They lost this kind of two-week series that they've had. Uh, this big stretch of games against Cleveland. Uh, they took that. And the Twins only won three of those eight games, three and five against Cleveland in that stretch. Uh, somehow they still lead the AL Central by a game, but I mean, that's kind of irrelevant at this point because with the way this pitching staff is constructed, it doesn't matter. You can see they were up three to one in the third inning thanks to a Jose Miranda basis clearing double um, with two outs too. Nice to see that. Uh, but again, just couldn't hold. Chris Archer only went four innings because he mainly cause he walked six guys. Uh, 90 pitches, literally a 50% strike rate, which is just horrible. Uh, and, and, you know, I guess it's fair to point out that Moran and Duffy did both pitch well, and that's encouraging. Um, you know, any encouragement out of this bullpen is good right now, but Thornburg completely uh, just fell apart. And moving on to St. Paul, not much better news there. They lost 10 to a nothing. Uh, Spencer Steer had multiple hits. Jake Cave extended his on base streak. But Jordan Balazovic just got absolutely destroyed in this game. Uh, Such an important guy to the pitching, um, you know, upside. And he's just been god-awful this year. Drew Strotman struck out five over three innings. That was encouraging. He's a guy in the 40-man roster. He's at 8.40 ERA. Can't really give you much confidence. He's going to be able to step up and get big leaguers out if it comes down to it. Uh, Moving on to Wichita, Louis Varlin. Maybe this is a guy, you know, to take a look at. But he was good. Nine strikeouts in five and a third inning tonight uh, against the Springfield Cardinals. Here he was striking out the side in the first inning. Um, Leobaldo Cabrera made this great, I don't know, maybe it might have been a home run saving catch in the fourth inning. And then Matt Wallner, look at this. This is one of my favorite things about games in Springfield is they can hit home runs on top of this training facility. And Wallner easily put one up there for a second home run of the game. Um, and then Austin Martin, look at that range, playing shortstop, making this catch in left field in the bottom of the ninth inning as well. So Wichita holds on to win seven to six. Lots of runs scored late in that one. But again, Walner with two home runs. Uh, Chris Williams had a three hit night. Edward Julian and Andrew Beck told each homeward as well. On the pitching side there, you see Varlin's line. I think you you can't send all your starters in the minors to go help the bullpen. But I think one of either Josh Winder or Louis Varlin should, I think you can feel okay with having one of those guys relieving and one of them keeping them for length. Anyway, moving on down to Cedar Rapids. Unbelievable catch here. Unbelievable by Will Holland. Kate Povich is like, wow. Uh, we'll take another look at that. Uh, just you, everything has to go. Well, he did a good jump and then get the dive, and he just barely picks this off the grass too. Tremendous. This is the guy who's playing a little bit of shortstop too, Will Holland. Uh, but unfortunately, Cedar Rapids lost 2-1 to one tonight. You know, of course, not much offense in a game on which they only score one run, but Wander Javier hit a big home run. Uh, for them, yeah, Cade Povich delivered a quality start. Six innings, two earned runs, three strikeouts, one walk. Um, moving on down to Fort Myers. And they also uh, lost 2-1. to one. Only one run for them. It was a Keone Cavaco home run, his fourth of the season. And then on the pitching side, they had Marco Raya pitch three perfect innings with four strikeouts. You know, 19-year-old guy, they're going to kind of take it easy on him this year as they build him up. But Reggie Grace also pitched well. Three shutout innings with six strikeouts uh, out of the bullpen. So that was it for today. Thanks for checking this out. We'll be back tomorrow. Uh, Please consider subscribing.